Hi everybody, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making Love in the Hand a cold process soap. I printed these scrapers on my 3D printer and I'm going to start this soap by pouring my lye water solution into my oils. Both my lye water solution and my oils that are, are about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to continue combining those with my spatula until they are fully emulsified. This soap's just going to have two colours, so I'm pouring off a small amount of soap, about an eighth of my batch size, for an accent colour. I'm going to use some zinc oxide in the main part of my soap, and I'm just adding two teaspoons. And some activated charcoal as the accent colour for this soap. I want my soap to stay relatively fluid so I'm going to combine the colours by stirring them in to start with just to make sure I have enough colour in, in each part. And I'm going to separate off a small amount of the white part of the soap to work with first. And I'm adding in my essential oil blend. This essential oil blend is lemon, orange, bergamot and peppermint so it's really nice and fruity but kind of fresh and sweet. I love this blend. I've transferred that white soap into a larger bowl to make it easier to stick blend and I'm going to use my stick blender to bring the soap to a medium to thick trace and then I'm going to pour it into my moulds. I am going to come back to the white soap so it doesn't matter if I use all of it in this first pass. So I'm just going to fill up my moulds about a third of the way and save the rest of that soap to see if I need it this time round. I'm putting my first scraper into the mould to make sure that I've got enough to roughly meet halfway. Now my scraper does scrape at a diagonal so I'm going to prop up the back of the mould just a little bit with the lid from one of my colourants so that the soap is roughly where it needs to be. Once I've got both of those moulds propped up, I'm going to leave the soap for about five minutes or so to set up a little bit more. Alright, my soap has been sitting and I'm going to come in with my scraper and sculpt this first layer. All I'm doing is dragging the scraper through the soap and it is holding its shape relatively well. I'm going to use a spoon and move the soap into the lower part of the mould where it needs to be. I'm going to continue using the scraper on this layer, moving it back and forth along the soap until I've got the soap in the right shape for this layer. My first layer is nicely set up and it's the shape that I need it to be. So I'm going to come back to the black soap and I've added my essential oil into it and I'm going to mix that in and then use my stick blender to bring this black soap to a medium to thick trace. Now that that batter's got nice and thick, I'm using my spatula to break the fall of the soap so that it doesn't break through the previous layer, uh, which would ruin the design of this soap. I will be coming back to this black soap as well in uh, another couple of layers, so I'm not going to use all of it, I am just spreading a thin layer out on top of the first layer. I 
I've let my soap set up uh, for another five minutes or so, so it's nice and thick, and I'm pulling my next scraper through this black layer. I have got a lot of excess soap in here, so I'm just going to use the scraper and pull out any of the soap that I don't need and pop it back in my bowl. got my black layer all scraped out and it's set up so I'm coming back in with some of that white soap and I'm filling in the next layer. The white soap has set up quite a bit more so I'm not going to need to let it sit before I use the scraper on this layer. So I have that section all nice and filled in. I'm using the third scraper and I'm sculpting the top of the, this section of the soap. And this soap is almost the perfect consistency for the scraper, it's holding its shape really nicely, it's sticking together and working really well. I did need to add a little bit more of the white soap just to fill in some little gaps that have been left behind. And I'm going to go back over it now with the scraper to get the final shape. Alright, it is time to work with the last black layer and the soap has set up so it's nice and thick and I'm just spooning that onto the top of the white layer. Once I have that all filled up, I'm going to use my scraper, the last scraper in the series, to form the shape that I need. After using the scraper, you can see that there's still quite a bit of white left showing, which there shouldn't be according to my design. So I'm going to use a little metal scraper that I have to remove some of the excess white soap. I'm just scraping away that white soap until I can see the black underneath. And then I'm going to add some more of the black soap in just to fill in any that I might have scraped away by mistake. With that black layer complete, I'm pouring in the rest of the white soap on top and I'm going to level that out with my spatula. back the next day and I decided that this soap needed a little something extra right on top and I wanted to work with some soap dough so I have some green soap dough that I'm just needing to make it a smooth consistency and I'm going to create some little bows to sit right on top of this soap so I'm rolling this out into a long tube shape I 
I have a Ziploc bag that I've cut down the edges of. I'm going to place the soap dough in the middle and use my rolling pin to flatten out the soap dough. I'm going to keep working with this and get the soap dough as flat as I can. The thinner that it is, the easier it will be for me to create these bows. And I'm just going to peel the Ziploc bag away from the soap. using a sharp knife to create some thin strips that I'm going to use. Working on the first bow, I have cut my strip in half and I'm folding it roughly in half to form a teardrop shape and I'm pinching the thin end of the teardrop to seal the loop. And then I'm going to join those two teardrops together and I'm squeezing the soap so that it forms a bond. I'm going to use a short section of another strip and I'm wrapping that around the middle of the bow to form the center ribbon. And I'm just going to use the end of this paintbrush to open up the loops a little bit and make sure that that middle section is stuck to the soap. Lastly, I'm using another strip. I'm going to cut it in half and I've angled the ends to form the little tails of the bow and I'm sticking those onto the back and I'm forming some curves in the tails to form some movement in the bow and this is what it looks like. So now it's time to cut this soap. You can see that I did add some texture to the soap and I did some piping before I decided to add the bows to the top. Um, I have scraped those off and this is what it looks like on the inside. I am so thrilled with how this soap turned out. It turned out better than I could have expected it to. I love the way you can clearly see the heart in the middle of this soap um, and the two hands forming the heart shape. I've had this soap design for a little while and was nervous that I wouldn't be able to get that definition and I'm so thrilled that it finally came out and I was able to make those scrapers. So I'm adding some piping onto the top of this soap I'm um, just using my soap piping recipe. I have let it set up and colored this soap with some zinc oxide. And I'm actually not using a piping tip. I have just cut the end off my piping bag to form a circle so that I can get some nice big round dollops on top. I'm just piping three per bar. Then the next layer I'll do two. And then finally one on top. I designed this soap about three years ago and it, it's taken me that long to get a 3D printer and learn how to create the designs in my software and get my 3D printer working well enough that I could create the scrapers. So I am thrilled with how this soap turned out. I wanted to add a little something extra onto the top of this soap just to finish it off and round it out. I didn't want it to overtake the simplicity of the inside of the design and I was racking my brain for a few days to try and think what I could add to the top. And finally my husband suggested that I just add a bow. 
It's so simple and yet it finishes this sort of off so well and complements the simplicity of the inside of the design. I am thrilled with this soap. I have so many soaps in my bathroom right now but I will definitely be keeping one of these bars to use for myself. So here's a look at the inside of this soap. All finished off with a little green bow right on top. I love this soap. Leave me a comment in the comments section below and let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.